Hi guys welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about Tensei Shittera Slime Dut Taken. So without any ado let's continue. Chapter 158, The Absolute Strongest of the Dungeon. Part 2. The drifting personality said it was genuine. This flowing dignity, was proof of their credibility as the genuine article. There are three Emperor Kono. Three of the Emperor's Royal Guards. It is equivalent to saying that there are three strongest forces in the upper ranks of the Empire. They, were equivalent to the Empire's greatest elite fighting power. And ourselves. And then there's them, Michel and Raymond. Boasts a high-ranking combat power among the Armored Remodeling Corps. Proud of their strength and position at the upper quartile of the Empire's Armored Remodeled Corps. Emperor Kono No. 17 Krishna. Emperor Royal Guard No. 17 Krishna. Emperor Kono No. 35 Bazin. Emperor Royal Guard No. 35 Bazin. Emperor Kono No. 94 Rika. Emperor Royal Guard No. 94 Rya. It seems that he acted with the Emperor's secret life, led by Krishna. Acting with Krishna as the leader, they moved with secret orders from the Emperor. Hope was born for Michelle and others, and their facial expressions became brighter. Hope was born in Michelle and Co., their expressions quickly brightened up. Seven people in all. Seven total. Even if you wait, there seems to be no further reinforcement. Even if they waited longer enforcements wouldn't arrive. But with this face. However, if it's these members. Those who rushed into the labyrinth this time, the top seven people gathered. In this dungeon conquering attempt, the top seven have gathered. The time count advances and the remaining time becomes zero. The countdown proceeds, the time left, zero. At the same time, the front door opened. Simultaneously, the door before them opened. I'm ready. They are resolute. They went down the door without hesitation and went to the battle for survival. They entered the door without hesitation, entering battle betting on their survival. 80 levels of labyrinth, inside the dark space. 80 th stratum, interior of the dark space. It was true darkness inside, but Raikou lit a wide range of lights with the magic of light. The interior was pitch black without a hint of light, but Raya had illuminated the surroundings with the light magic floor light. Everyone who is breathtaking in the sight that appeared there. What appeared was a breath-halting sight. It was a floor, and the corpses of Imperial soldiers were piled up high. There was a single floor, and on it were the bodies of the Empire's soldiers towering high above. At the top is a monster. And on its peak, a single monster. I am meditating with meditation. In a Zen meditation position, meditating. The appearance of floating in the air seems to prove that the magical power is highly refined. Perhaps it was slightly floating, proven from the high level of magic energy being channeled. Michelis were convinced. Michel was convinced. That monster is the one who invited us here, and the demon king Lemuru himself. The monster before them, the one who has invited them here, was the demon lord Remuru. Note Tn, Don T go mixing up our silvered haired Shaojo with some Cayman rider. That's why. That's why. Are you, the demon king Lemuru? Are you? Demon Lord Ramiru. It may have been unavoidable to ask that. They couldn't help but ask this. However, that one word touches Zijin's reverse scale. However, that one line had brought down Zijin's imperial wrath upon them. What is this like me, mistaken for the great demon Lord Lemuru? There is only one way for you, the crawling people to survive. Only defeat this me, Zijin. Burn that life and do your best. To mistake one such as I. For the great demon Lord Ramiru Sama. You imbeciles who crawl on the ground have only one path of survival. You must defeat I, Zijin. May your life burn out as you desperately try. And the battle began. And so, the battle, one sided trampling, begun. Benny Maru and I were staring at the scene projected on the big screen. Benny Maru and I were stunned speechless as we stared at the projectile on the large screen. The footage of the labyrinth, which had been shown earlier, is now silent and shows that Imperial soldiers have died on all floors. The projected images showed the earlier situations within the dungeon, and it now shows the silent dungeon and the presence of Empire Army's soldiers had all vanished. The battle is over. The battle had ended. However, we had lost words for a while to the content of the scene we had just seen. However, due to the contents we had just witnessed, we were at a loss for words. He, isn't he stronger than you? Isn't that guy? Even stronger than you. After a while, a straightforward impression spilled out of my mouth. 
After a brief pause, my honest opinion spilled out of my mouth. Benny Maru, who had been silent for a while because he didn't want to admit it. Bahimaru who didn't want to admit it was silent for a while. I would have to admit that there is some possibility. There's a slight possibility, I don't want to admit this but. Muttered regretfully. He muttered feeling vexed. The battle in the labyrinth was largely as expected. The battle in the dungeon generally advanced as expected. The Demon King Guardian Colossal statue was defeated by two senior soldiers of the Empire, but I was surprised that the Adal Mans were killed by a terrifyingly strong trio wearing shinky gold steel armor. The Demon Golem was defeated by two elite soldiers of the Empire, while Adal Man and Co. were surprised by their defeated in the hands of the formidable trio clad in Orichalcum armor. Apparently, the strong man was mixed in. Apparently, it would seem some strong individuals were in the mix. A female knight who won a magical battle with Adalman against a knight who won a single combat against Alberto. The knight who won against Alberto in a one-on-one -on -one fight, and the female knight who bested Adalman in a magic battle. As expected, two knights and a female knight challenged Adalman, but it is a threat enough to kill Adalman who has no weaknesses by reversal of the holy devil. As expected from the pair of knights who challenged Adalman, but to slay Adalman who has no weak points thanks to his holy demonic inversion, they were a major threat. I wondered if I should be a little more vigilant, but, it didn't seem necessary. When I was worried about whether to show a bit more vigilance. There was no need for that anymore. Two senior soldiers and three knights in shinky gold and steel armor moved down the stairs to the 80th floor. Two elite soldiers the, and the three orichalcum clad knights, they have been simultaneously transferred down to the 80th stratum. It was the work of Zijin, the guardian of the 80th floor. Guardian of the the 80th stratum, that was Zijin's job. Zijin was forcibly summoning the strong man he admitted by spatial manipulation. Zijin had forcefully summoned the strong individuals he acknowledged to him via spatial manipulation. If you have strong fortune, may you have a strong opponent? Ramaris said that later I asked Beretta for approval of the operation about the contents of the secret meeting but nothing happened. The better their lottery luck, the stronger the foes they get. I've heard something about this from Ramaris and heard about the contents of the secret meeting from Beretta afterwards but, nothing happened. He interfered with his brute force so that he would come to himself forcibly. Forcefully guiding the strong individuals to himself, he interfered using skills and strength. But what is terrifying is that feeling. However, what's terrifying are his senses. Stretch through the labyrinth, observe all battles, and select only the strongest. Expanding it throughout the dungeon, observing every battle, and picking out only the strong ones. He probably knew all the movements while meditating. He was the one who did ridiculous things. While meditating, he probably managed to grasp each and every one of their movements, what an outrageous thing he did. The battle began with the addition of two people who seemed to be different worlds. In addition to the two other worlders, the battle began. In a word, it is overwhelming. In a word, overwhelming. The knight who defeated Alberto struck the fastest sword. The knight who defeated Alberto, struck at his maximum speed with his sword. With your left hand, gently push the flank of the sword away, and receive it without hindering the opponent's movement. With his left hand, he gently brushed up against the side of the sword, doing so carefully as if to not obstruct the movements of his opponent. At the same time, he succeeded in sneaking into his pocket as it was, and at the same time when his right foot was stepped on, he struck his right hand into the opponent's armor. At the same time he dived into the bosom of his opponent, he stomped his right foot, and struck the armor of his foe with his right arm. How much power was put into the fist, the blow crushes the armor of shinky gold steel and takes the life of the knight with a single blow. How much force did he put into that fist of his, for with one strike it had shattered the orichalcum armor, and took the life of the knight with a single hit. It was an event less than three seconds after it started. This all happened within three seconds after the fight began. Aiming at the moment when his thoughts cannot catch up with the death of his companion, he shoots a knife at the female knight. Before they could even perceive their comrade's death, a karate chop was sent towards the female knight. She was happy. She was lucky. I was able to die without feeling any pain or fear. She felt no pain nor fear, for she had died. Uh, <laughs> well, Rika. Die, turn. Beast. Yokai dimension slash. You, you, how dare you did that to Ria. Die you monster. Dimension cut. The knight in armor fired his skill at the same time as his anger. 
The armored knight, simultaneously released his anger and his skill. Stop laughing. How laughable. The distortion around Zijin prevents the attack. Zijin's surroundings distorted, and the attack was blocked. Any attack is meaningless before this technique given by Demon King Lemuru. Before the skill Demon Lord Ramiru Sama, Raphael, had blessed me with, such attacks are meaningless against me. That is, the absolute defense controlled by the King of Pledges the Space Distortion Defense Area ISNT it. Wait that's. Covenant King Uriel's manipulated absolute defense spatial distortion field isn't it? Zijin's ability to control space exceeds the level of unique skills. Zijin's spatial manipulation ability, it's beyond the level of a unique skill. It seems that he has acquired the absolute defense of Chloe who fought against Ferdola. This absolute defense was on the same level as Chloe's who once clashed with Feldera in the past. Well, in fighting battles, you can fight more than equal to Ferdola. Thanks to it, she was able to fight on PAR with Feldera. Does that mean that Zijin is as strong as the old heroes? What a terrifying growth. If that's the case, wouldn't that mean Zijin's strength rivals that of the past hero? What frightening growth. What's more, that figure is familiar to me. Moreover, that figure looked familiar. Covered by the exoskeleton, you can specialize in battle and make full use of the monster's abilities. Covered in an exoskeleton, a specialized fighter making full use of a monster's ability. Hey, Raphael. That figure. Ah, Raphael. That figure. Solution. As you may have forgotten, my lord is sharing my body. As a result of the super optimization of individual name, Zijin, I. Master. Has become the ability to resemble the lord. Answer. You may have forgotten, but my master you had once bestowed him part of your flesh. Due to that, the affected individual, Zijin had received a full tune-up as a result, and had obtained similar abilities as my master. I remembered. I remembered. When I helped the dying Zijin, I closed the wound with a part of my body. In order to help Zijin who was on the verge of death, I had covered his words with a part of my flesh. At that time, Zijin was still an insect monster. At that time, Zijin was just an insect monster. It looked like a beetle and a stag beetle added together and split. He had the appearance of a Japanese rhinoceros beetle and a stag beetle, it was a really cool appearance which tickled my fancy. It was a bug-shaped monster with a body length of about 50 centimeters, but I heard that it was a rare individual, so I entrusted it to Ramaris. It was an insect-type demonic beast with length of 50 centimeters, since I heard it was a rare individual I handed him over to Ramaris. Well, before I released it into the labyrinth, I used the magic steel that I had been accustomed to in my body to improve my defense. Well, before I sent him to the dungeon, I've also used the demon steel that had adapted to my magic essence in my body, in order to raise his defenses. Sure, with a similar bee. Indeed, that bee also looked similar. That's Zijin and Apito, but I don't think this will happen. So it's Zijin and Apito, I didn't think this would happen. Apito is a magic steel coating and named, but... Zijin seems to have evolved to super evolution. I've simply gave Apito a demon steel coating and named her. But to think Zijin would actually undergo hyper evolution. In other words, to become a battle specialized demon with my ideal battle form. So to speak, by using my ideal combat form, it has evolved into a Majin specialized in combat. Furthermore, was such an existence born as a result of the magical remodeling by King Wisdom, who is reputed to always overdo it. Furthermore, Wisdom King Raphael who was reputed for always going overboard also remodeled him, and this existence was the result. Such Zijin has undergone special training with Ferdola, and there is no reason for anyone else to be able to deal with it. This Zijin, had also underwent intensive training alongside Feldera, there's no way the other party could be his opponent. My expectation was correct. My expectations were correct. Dimension Ray. Dimensional Equal Activity Cutting Wave. Dimension Ray. Zijin opened the five fingers of his right hand and swung down. Zijin had spread out his five fingers, and swung down. That alone causes a spatial disruption due to dimensional cutting. Just like that, the dimensions were severed and the space disconnected. The knight in armor couldn't resist and was made active, and one more person was involved. The armored knight couldn't resist this, and someone else also got caught up in the collateral. Four people died less than ten seconds after the start. Ten seconds after it began, and four are already dead. Akin. This is Akimason. Oh dear. 
This one's hopeless. It transcends human limits. Definitely a transcendent. He has already crossed the borders of human limitation. Without a doubt, he's someone who has transcended. According to my calculations, Apito is as strong as Hinata in his heyday. Even that Apito wouldn't have three minutes in front of Zijin. According to my calculations, Apito's even stronger than Hinata at her best. Even Apito wouldn't last three minutes before Zijin. Only the time until Zijin becomes serious. Then there's when Zijin is actually serious. Why is this strong in the labyrinth? Isn't it wasteful? Why is someone so strong in the dungeon? Isn't that a waste? I thought, but this guy is a secret weapon. Or so I think, this guy's a secret weapon now. Let's do that. Rather, it was a sample that if you let the King of Wisdom do things poorly, it would be really ridiculous. Let's leave it at that. Or rather, this is a prime example of how badly things can end up when Wisdom King Raphael messes up a task you entrust him. I haven't left anything else to it, and I think I'll have to discuss it later. Even thought nothing else was left to him after this, we really need to talk about this afterwards. The latter three were just a matter of time. As for the remaining three it's now only a matter of time. Hyperpyrexia from a compression explosion hits Zijin, but it does not lead to absolute defense. A compressed explosion generating hyperheat waves assaulted Zijin, but it doesn't go through its absolute defense. The pride of superhuman strength has also been crushed by comparison with Zijin. The same goes for that freakish strength, when compared with Zijin's strength it was crushed. The effect of the remodeling, or the movement of Asen who launched a super fast attack, would have stopped at Zijin. Due to the effects of the modification, the old man who moved at high speeds to attack, was saw through by Zijin and was stopped. As a result, the last seven people were defeated in less than a minute in total. In the end, they hardly lasted a minute before the last of the seven were defeated. Bumpy, even if I look like that in fight against Zijin, I might lose if I limit myself to not using my abilities. I admit, if I were to fight Zijin in that form, if I can't use my abilities even I would lose. From such an impression, the question to Benny Maru was born. And due to this thought, the previous question towards Benny Maru arose. I thought that the strong man was hiding in the world, and I thought I wasn't careful. There are hidden strong individuals in this world, so one should never be careless. It was diagonally above my imagination that something like this was hidden at my knees. And to think one such strong individual was hidden in my territory, this was something outside of my wildest imagination. Really, the world is incomprehensible. Truthfully, I'll never truly understand this world. This was the end of the battle in the labyrinth, and I had another 350,000 souls. And so the battle in the dungeon ended, and I have obtained another 350,000 individuals worth of souls. And even on the ground, the final battle was about to begin. And above ground, the last battle is about to begin. Thank you for watching please like share subscribe and press the bell icon for more content.